sure look at So, let's finish off like this edification as far as like Esau. All right, all right, um, all right, Genesis 25 and 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Speaking of uh, 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 Jacob and Esau, right? the progenitor of the so-called white people and the progenitor of everybody that you see on the sign. Negroes, you Latinos, you Native Seminole Indians, all right? Your forefathers was in a womb together, what they call paternal twins. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garments. See, that's just a metaphor, man. Red all over like a hairy garment, man. Uh, he wasn't, uh, you know, in, in the ancient world, they used to dye uh, the garments deep red, man. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a spirit. It's a like this, man. It's a deep, deep red, man. So that's how uh, Esau came out, man. And you can see through his... You know, plus it's like hip, hip talk, you know, you know, are you listening to, like, rap songs? It's like, I'm smooth just like a this and a that. That's exactly. This is a metaphor, man. Because when you look at their skin, they're not white people. they red, man. If they, if they pinch their skin or if they be in the sun too long, they turn red. Because if you walk up to a, 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 a Edomite, all right, and they got on a, a you know a shirt and tie, you know their shirt is white. Yeah, it's it's, it's the big, the quick comparison, right? And these Edomites around here wear three piece suits on day, day and night. Yeah. And you, you know? see the red like they call them rednecks. Like I've seen some red like some Edomites that's really just red. And they gonna go back to that in the kingdom because you're gonna be in the sun all day working. Yeah. So you gonna be motherfucking red, red. You know what I'm saying? Over here in this cold climate, feeling you know, comfortable. It's a cold climate, hey, he's on that, yeah, you know. This is still in Genesis, finishing up that last little bit, uh, 4 and 15. And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slave came, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And that's why we can't nobody knock him out the way. Right. That's why Israel, we amen. Jake, man, try it. You see Black Panther? Uh, the, the infamous picture of Huey Newton sitting on the, uh, the chair with the, I think it was the AK, he was sitting on the chair with the AK. Jake had tried to pick up on, nobody's gonna knock this man out the way except the Lord, because that's his lot, man. So that's why everybody that comes up against Esau, they get fucked up. Whether it be you niggas or you other nations, they Esau fucks you up. Ain't that what Cain said? He say, anybody that find him will fuck him up. And, and that's why he said, anybody who find him, he shall slay me. Then the Lord told him what? He said, he said, hey, anybody who touch you, man, he's going to get uh, basically punished sevenfold. That's why. Can't nobody fuck with you. So can't nobody fuck with this, you know, unrighteous decrees. That's right. You know, uh, you know, even, you know, uh, or, you know even, even, you know, the way he, um, or, you know, punishes people and things like that. Or, you know, whether it be, you know, um, say long sentences or, you know, death penalty and things like that. Or, you know, it's always, you know, way out of proportion, you know, as, as far as, you know, um, you know, it's out of, sometimes it's out of proportion, you know, as far as, you know, you know how you're supposed to handle it according to the scriptures. All right, but, um, or, you know, he always, um, he likes to have those, extent, even with his, um, or, you know, um, Christianity, or that psychological warfare, you know, spending an eternity in hell. Like, he always want, he always has this need to, like, um, or, you know, punish people, you know, as severely as possible. Or, you know, so that's why he's going to get that uh, judge, judgment of, um, you know, a thousand years of slavery. Or, you know, and then destruction. Because, you know, that, that's why, you know, he's the only nation that doesn't, you know, deserve any mercy. You know, from right? Because, you know, he doesn't, you know, on all levels, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't know when to stop. 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 Yeah, you mind if I grab this right quick? I'm not going to go out to the spirit. This is the book of Acts. According to what you was talking about with this scripture, he said, no one can knock these out of the way. They attempted to, and this is in the scripture that uh, the elder apostle the Lord had brought up a little while ago. This is Acts chapter 5, and I'm going to start at uh, 35, just one verse ahead. It says, And said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves, which ye intend to do as touching these men. Verse 36, For before these days rose up Theodos, boasting himself to be somebody. So he, the elder apostle Paul was going to the breakdown that he was like a zealot trying to take matters in his own hands. This but you know, that is, you know, you know, that's what, you know, Jake does. Or, you know, especially, you know, um, you know, this, this scripture also, you know, it reminds me of people, or, you know, that, um, it's like this is, but it also reminds me of people, or, you know, that, um, you know, more revolution. Or, you know, a lot of people that went, um, I, I remember when I was, um, you know, um, you know, it was like orientation when I was like working for the casino. Like there was this, uh, you know, there was this like one, uh, you know, there, there was this one Jake, or, you know, I guess, you know, we were like asking questions or some shit. 
All right, but he was at some point. He was just like, one day I'm gonna own this casino. All right, so you know they have that um they have that type of you know zeal and determination. All right, but um or, you know they don't they don't they don't know uh, spiritually you know, you know how um, or, you know things work. Or, you, know, you know that's a problem. You know if, if they wanted to be somebody, you know, they'd be a part of this, but they don't want to, like you know, they'd rather or, you know some you know some you know, some you know, like that. Boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men of about 400 joined themselves. So they were Zillites. They came to a number of 400 men who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Yeah, as soon as yeah, as soon as they took out, you know, you know, the guy in charge, you know, everyone else was like, what do we do now? Yeah. Well, they, you know, and you even hear, it, you know, on you know, uh, you know, things like gangland or you know. So and so, you know, got, got put away or whatever. Or there, there was some power struggles, sorry, you know. Or you know, that's one of the things that happened. Or you know, and then you know, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of Jake are just, you know, followers. Or you know, so the, you know, they didn't have that, or you know, motivation. So you know, they, they just went. They just like uh, went in different directions. Whether they were fighting amongst each other, or you know, they stopped doing that and started doing something else. Strike the, strike the shepherd, the sheep, the sheep will scatter. It says, verse 37, After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of, ta of the taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished. And all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. All right, and uh, the, the essential point of it is, if you want to be a zealot and uh, try to take Esau yes. away, you're going to get the same judgment. All right, that glory is up to how much should have shut. The Lord allowed them to fail. You know, Israel were thinking that they could pretty much try to take his glory, but he said, we're not giving it to another. Yeah, even though we're going to leave out, we're going to have one of the most private slave uprisings ever, man. And, and the most high, that's, see, that's when that Willie Lynch shit came into play. That was the spirit of the Lord. Alright, you know, so that's what that really that shit came. The Haitians, so called Haitians, was over there fucking Esau up, man. Alright, beat that. I'm talking about doing the crucial shit to him, man. Alright? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, then, when he yeah. came yeah. and he said, I heard y'all been having problems with your slaves. You know what I'm saying? And he wrote that evil ass letter, man. Oh, uh, and that's when they, uh, uh, that's when he saw him get ass, uh, the, the Louisiana Purchase. That's when he saw, uh, purchased uh, Louisiana and all those other states. 828,000 uh, 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 acres. Right? All and that's when, they, that's when they purchased that. In France, because France needed some military shit, some, some guns and shit, some troops or something like that. Because they had building that for the big, because of Levi, man. Right. Yeah. Let's yeah, talk about Benjamin, too. Let's see, it was some of their ships. So like, no, go ahead, bro. But Benjamin was uh, taking over them slave ships. Turning the bitch back around, all right. So Jake, it ain't like you know Jake was rebelling, but if the spirit of the Most High, like uh, uh, Daniel four and seventeen, man, he he posed them up, man. You can't, you can't do shit. That's why every time Jake was up with the plan from the beginning to now, from the beginning of uh, Esau having us in his in captivity to now, it always fails. Man. You get that? Always. Yeah, you get that. Daniel chapter four verse seventeen. It says, "Then Daniel, oh Salak." Says this matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the man by the word of the holy ones, with the intent that the living may know. Right? It says, it says, uh, this matter is by the decree of the watchers. We, we the watchers, man. All right. It said, and the man by the word of the holy ones, thou watch now, chat, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and give it to. Whomsoever he will, and set it up over it the basis of men. Right. With Esau, Edom, aka the Sumerian way. Alright? That's why the most high gonna take them out, like the world was born into. With the, uh, uh, spike the seat, and spike the, uh, the shepherd. Shit. Yeah, right. And Esau the shepherd right now. Controlling all these other things and shit. He gotta go whichever way he wants to. You know, that's how you do a herd of uh, uh, sheep, man. Right, you the got best way, 
Go ahead, brother. Right quick, though. Best way to see that is you see all this, all this peace talk. Y'all see all this peace talk on RT News and shit? Uh, and he saw it, you know what yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw it in Russia. Yeah, cut, cut. Hey, man, the more sides go, he going to snatch you back into a board light screen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is Genesis 4 15. And the Lord, how about Shimei Asha, said to him, Therefore, whosoever slave came, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, as any man finding him should kill him. Yeah, man. That mark is a mark of leprosy. That's what he received. That was the answer that man's question when I initially got on the book for the sake of edification. We still went into it, man. Yeah. All right? Now, uh, like he said, that was the mark of leprosy. That's how he became that, that pale figure, in which we were initially all brown skinned men. Yeah, because if, if you look at the last game of the world, you have the nation of melanin. Everybody has melanin, except Esau. So that's how he was that one. Yeah, because when you look at the word marking, uh, the, uh, the definition of it is a distinguishing feature. That's how you know who Esau is, because that's that distinguishing feature to understand. You know, of course, Esau, he fixed to sleep with everybody on the face of the planet Earth. That's why you got Chinese that look white. You know, you got Ami Salak, you got Moabites that look white. You got Ammonites that look white. You know, you got Arabs that look white. You know, because that's Esau, Esau trying to hide from the most high. You got all these Edomites that look all these other nations. He scattered his seed to this damn devil here. He saw this we the one, they, uh, what was that, Matthew 13? No, oh, this Matthew 13. <laughs> That's the spirit, he was right there. Yeah. This Matthew 13, I'm looking at what this starting point. Uh, verse 24. Yeah. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. So like you said, while men slept, all right? The, the, the enemy came and sowed his wheat. Because if you look at the two, they look very synonymous with the two different wheat plants. That's why even Israel, we used to go in the last, I used to kill all the men, I had to take the virgins, man. You know, our seed and the virgins, man. It was a I, commandment. You feel me? So when we know more of your nation, you know what I mean? You know your nation. But that was a, a tactical move. Right? We're going to kill all your men, every woman that you got is a virgin. We're going to put seed in so they can bring forth more days. Right. Here we go to that Matthew, Matthew 13 chapter. All the nations fell asleep. That's why they don't know who they is. You know, you might got some people know their nations to know uh, to an extent who they are. But as a whole, a nation, they don't know who they are. Side, 
Yeah. And uh, that just goes back to it as of right now. That's why our focus ain't even really on having wives. We got some guys that's trying to get as many wives as they can from the kingdom. We ain't focused on that right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Because our main wife is this word is trying to get the Seen that video. That's why the scripture says. Yeah, and they, Joel, they never tested that stuff. Yeah, they never know if the new sugar, like, it's all theoretical. Like, oh, this anti nuclear technology they have is all theoretical. They tested, they tested, though. We talk about. We don't know because no one's ever done it. We're right. talking about right. so many missiles off at one time that even, let's say, 10% gets to the net. Let's just say only 10%. 10% but of those missiles are still going to destroy 90% of our planet. So, no, the planet ain't going to be destroyed. It ain't going to work like well, that. Well, atmosphere, you're right. Atmosphere and stuff, people will die. The planet yeah. itself used to be a pipe one on rock or nothing but lava. Everything like that, it's a water thing. So you're right. Our planet survived, but maybe not all of us. You guys have a great day. Are you saying? If I may say, these people in the world, they're not as stupid as they claim to be. So in the aspect, this is all I'm trying to say. The Lord's going to spirit of God. Even if they ain't got the spirit of God instead of the scriptures, they understand that destruction is coming. All right? And that's just paying attention to the side of the All this talk of nuclear missiles and North Korea and Russia. Yeah, so so Even China just said they got to come up with many more missiles. They got to come up with more missiles for the sake that America respects uh, a large quantity uh, to show for us, so to speak, man. Having a large, a large amount of missiles to show. Uh, he said that the U.S. respects it, man. It's an RT news, man. China had to So the fact that the matter is, going into what this guy was saying, they correlated with the scriptures, 200 million missiles. So hit this place, man. 200,000. Even if they had a defense system. Oh, right. Right. right, 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 but he might knock out 10. <laughs> what are you going to do with 900 million? <laughs> it's Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, yeah, all right, verse 1. It said, Blow ye the trumpet, and it said, Blow ye the trumpet. Man, that's a commandment, man. Right, man. That's a commandment. You got to sound this alarm, bro. Y'all right. people that's not doing that shit, y'all ass is going to be casualties of war. Straight up, missile food. And we're going to laugh, bro. The hell right desire we endure to the end. We're going to laugh our ass off. That's a commandment, man. So all you people that's not blowing the trumpet, you're going off right there. It's so like you, bro. It you says, blow you the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. That's right. You got to warn yeah. Israel. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's your duty. That. All right? To fear the most high, to keep his command. That's the whole duty of men. Part of the commandments is to blow the trumpet. Sound an alarm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Prepare Israel so that they know what's coming. If you take your hand off the plow, you unfit for the kingdom, bro. And not only that, you, you got missed bloods upon your hands. You got it, bro. It says, uh, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming. Yeah, how we coming? He said, he said, let all the, he said, hand. let the land tremble, man. Okay? You people will be horribly afraid at the impending destruction that's coming, man. 
Hey man, when the prophet used to come to town, they say, is it well with thee? Yeah. Then, when, when I'm paraphrasing, like, is it, do it thou come to peace, you know? You know, because they really want to know if, if what you coming, if you coming to prophesy, the destroy the this place, or is it good? Is it good? Oh, that's back in the day. That's right. Oh, that's what they knew. 7 9 and 9. They knew we had it. I got it. I got it first time. Now we just, these niggas in the army, and that's all I tell them. Let it be the ancient world, and then the brother Abishai walk into the city. Everybody gonna be like, oh shit. Because you know it's the most high, they gonna kill y'all. Alright? He gonna prove y'all, but he gonna kill y'all, or tell y'all to repent for whatever y'all gonna do. Whatever y'all been doing. That's right. And you can compare this place to the city of Nineveh as well. Alright? Because he actually repented himself of the evil, and then ended up in heaven. Alright? Because he actually repented himself of the evil, and then ended up in Because he actually repented himself of the evil, and then ended up having to go and do it because they continue to do wicked. But the Lord, you know what I mean? He gives you an option. And you people are only preparing yourself, man. That's why I ain't no unrighteousness to you. I'll watch it outside. He don't never spring nothing on you. It ain't like he didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. All right? He don't never, it's never nothing. And man, the Lord righteous, man. That's what it's for.